Good morning. Hope you all are doing well. We are about to enter the final weeks of class. I cannot, literally cannot believe it, to be honest. Uh, the semester has gone by so fast and you all have really, oh my gosh, you've done such solid, solid, thoughtful, considered work. And I really appreciate it. I um, appreciate the fact that you dove into those textbooks and really used them to expand your thinking and that many of you said, you know, that you could see where you would apply this as soon as you get your own classroom, <laughs> which I really understand. Um, but anyway, I did want to say that to you before I go over the, the lesson observation. So this is called a lesson observation assignment. It's in the course. I didn't write it, but um, I have no problem with it. I don't mean that. When I say I don't write lessons, I, I'm sure you all know by now that I'm not saying I have a problem with them. It's just that if I wrote them up, they might look a little different. So I try to give you these little explanations <laughs> so you know how I'm going to grade them and approach them. Um, I hope that's helpful to you. So um, I think it was called lesson observation. At one time, I think that people went out and observed students doing these lessons. And so if you can think of it this way, that now you're being asked to videotape what somebody would have at one time come out and observed. And if those of you who had theories of play, you know that that was an observed um, situation as much as was possible for me to be in those spaces. Um, and so... Um, just so you're clear that videotaping these, I understand because I've had to videotape stuff too as a teacher, and it's a very artificial experience, to be honest. It's, it, you're not feeling comfortable unless you ask someone else to videotape you, and you're not really aware of it. Um, and even then it's a little tricky. <laughs> so please know that I get that. I've been videotaped quite a bit actually. <laughs> and so, um, I understand it's kind of a strange thing to get used to. Um, maybe your other assignments in other classes have had you do this. So you're probably more comfortable than I ever was. And, you know, your generation is more accustomed to photos and videos of yourself. So it's possible everything I just said is not true. <laughs> you might be really comfortable with it. I don't know. But uh, I just want to assure you that the main thing I really want you to know is just videotape what happens. I am not looking for a performance in this video. It's not supposed to be polished. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's, it's just supposed to be a, something I can see, basically. And the most important part that I want to see is not your, you know, uh, introduction. If you're doing an introductory piece with the kids in small group to explain something to them, um, I, I don't really need to see all that um, unless you want me to. What I really want to see is the children interacting with whatever it is that you've set up for them to do. And um, it does require that the recording is, I think it says 10 to 15 minutes. Um, yeah, there it is. It, 10 to 15 minutes of video. And um, so and it says if the lesson's shorter, record yourself interacting with children. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I didn't write it. Um, so what I'm going to tell you is that I really just want to see the children interacting with the materials you've provided for the lesson. I don't really care that much about, you know, the interaction before that or after that. I mainly care about, I'd love to see what the kids did with what you set up, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And um, it... Uh, it says here that if you did not use a modification strategy in the lesson, um, explain what your strategy is and how you would implement it with an atypical child. So that will come in the one-page paper. So it says you should submit a one-page 
double spaced reflection about the lesson. Um, here are your, here's where you would put this, you know, if I had a child that was this or that, here's a modification strategy I would use. Or sometimes you get into a, a, an activity with children and you realize, oh, I didn't know this about this child until I saw them try to do this. And so you can write about that in your reflection and say, you know, I didn't know that about this child, so next time I would do this. And that would be a modification for that child. Um, so that's something I wanted to say that this directive here about the modification strategy, that should actually go in number four, which is your paper. <laughs> so um, that's, I can imagine you would say, where should I put that? Well, that's where you should put it. <laughs> um, and yes, what do you think went well? What do you think it, you could improve it? If you say something you want to improve, um, be sure you have really good rationale for that. Um, it Because I really don't like the idea of you evaluating yourself as having done a, a good lesson or a not great lesson. Um, when we implement things with children, what happens is what happens. So honestly, if you want, instead of approaching this as what you could improve, you could say what you would do next. You know, what is, so now you've seen these children interact with what you provided them. Now what would you do? So rather than thinking of it as improvement, I would be okay with you just saying what you would do next. Um, if something went really, 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 really a wrong, so to speak, <laughs> um, then you can just say that, wow, here's what happened. I thought if I did this with these kids, this is what might happen. And something else completely different happened. Um, that's, again, I don't really consider that an improvement need as much as, uh, well, here's what happened and here's what I learned. So, you know, just rest assured that I really don't want you to do a heavy critique as much as I want you to say, here's what happened and here's what I learned from it. And here's what I might do next because of what I learned. And that would cover anything. You know, if you put out something to make homemade pizzas with and the kids did something completely different with it than you expected, then you can just say that and say, so next time I put out things to, you know, make pizzas with, I might try this just because you want to see some what else might happen with the kids. Um, so I don't want to say too much more about this particular assignment, just that the most important part for me is seeing the children interacting with what you provided for them. And uh, a reminder that in a good, well-implemented lesson activity, I don't really hear your voice very much. The planning from you comes in what you decide to put out and introduce. Once the children take over, your voice should be minimal. Um, so um, just keep that in mind. It, I'm not, I don't want to see your teaching strategies uh, as a teacher. I can te see your teaching strategies in the response of the children. So... Um, just be careful that you're not feeling like you have to talk a lot for this to be a good assignment. <laughs> I know that. I can understand why you might feel that way based on the way this is written. Um, you can, again, use a lesson plan you already planned for the hat or a lesson, pl lesson you have from another situation. It doesn't really matter at all. Um, and if you choose something that's not one of your hats, just submit it along with the video so I know what it was and then submit that submit your document with the reflection as well so what I would suggest you do is submit a word document with a link a video link and then in a, in the document and then have the lesson plan that you used if it's not your hat and then also your reflection if you used a hat lesson all you have to do is put your video link, the name of the hat lesson that you did so that I can reference it, and then your reflection. 
and that would just be submitted in a paper. That That's probably the easiest way to do it, but if you find another way to do it, that's also okay. Um, for my LTR students in the class, you can just uh, videotape any uh, anything you've done in the classroom if you want to. I actually think uh, you may not have to do that, so I'm going to look into that for you. Um, so hang in there. And I think that's it. You have this rubric, um, but I hope I've really given you enough idea of what I'm looking for that you're not too worried about it. Um, you know, you have the due date, the video's complete. Um, it says here, include all parts of the lesson, but I've already told you that I'm okay if I just see what the kids did. I can get enough out of that. Um, and... Uh, your reflection is really important. Your interactions with the kids are positive, of course. Um, and modifications are needed or explained if you didn't use them, like I said. And um, the instruction is high quality. Um, you know, again, I'm not really trying to evaluate your instruction in the moment as much as the results of it that I see in the children. Um, so don't feel, again, do not do not feel you need to record yourself doing something really well. When, when I say instruction is high quality, I don't know who wrote this rubric, but when if I said it, what I would mean is that this is well planned, the materials are there, the children have access to the materials, the, the materials have engaged the children, or if they haven't, something is done midstream to try to engage the children. Some days, nobody's going to get engaged, <laughs> like the days after holidays or birthdays or, you know, just anything that could be going on that we know affects young children. So I really hope this is helpful to you. I wanted to to make sure you understood my thinking behind it and my relationship to how it's written up and what I'm actually looking for. If you still have questions, of course, you can always um, ask. So let me know. If not, have fun. And, um, oh, someone's already asked about what to use to videotape. And, um, oh my gosh, if you don't have access to something that can videotape, like a a laptop or a, um, I guess iPads can videotape and f or a phone. Let me know that, please, because um, I can accommodate for that. All right. Good luck. Have fun.